Do you know what is the permissible maximum speed at superhighway? 120. Okay. So yesterday, my brother posted to me, I am a very brave driver, please bro. I always drive at a fastest lane and at a speed of 120 miles per hour. What is a big deal in it? I replied. I am even braver than you. I also drive at a fastest lane and at a speed of 20 miles per hour. <laughs> Hello, Toastmasters. And guests. Traffic rules are very important in the life of every driver. But first, we all need a driving license. So many years ago, when I started learning driving, I also applied for a driving, driving license. One day I called for a test. Before practical, they gave us a theory test. That was an MCQ. You have to take these answers. These are the right answers. Instead of keeping your advice, examiner advice, I used my logic and, right, and ended up scoring 6 out of 10. Just passing marks. If you have acted on my advice, you have scored 10 out of 10. Who told you to use your brain? Eventually, I got my lessons. Now I am a very official driver after driving for many years. One day I was just driving back to my office from a lunch, lunch with a friend. Suddenly I saw a waving hand. When I focused, it was a traffic boy, waving hand. Initially, I thought he's just greeting me. I waved back. <laughs> but then I realized he is up to something. He may be like to stop somebody. I thought he may like to stop a pickup or a truck, as they usually do. I am driving a car. I am a horrible, sorry, honorable citizen of this country. But unfortunately, at that time, there was no truck or pickup around, and even not a biker. So I have to accept that he liked to stop me. So finally, I stopped, because I don't have another option. Remember my dialogue with my brother. <laughs> so I stopped and lowered my side mirror. Maulana Saab, show your lessons and analyze it. I took out my purse and start looking for both in load of stuff my wallet always contains. As I was looking for them, his facial expression keep changing. Finally, after a lot of effort, I was able to find both of them and with a winning smile, I handed over to him. He looked for a while and then showed me a paper and finger pointing on that. When I looked below that finger, it was written, plenty for not bearing seat belt is rupees 500 only. My pride blown away. And I start begging, Sir, please, please forgive me. Don't cut my chalak. I have all my intention to bear seat belt, but my belly come on the way. <laughs> I am a very poor driver. Maulana Saab, if I don't cut your chalan, what is the point of standing all day in scorching heat here? But you look a nice man. So as a relief, you can pay me right away. <laughs> so I again took out my purse and looked for a 500 note, rupees 500 note. But to my misery, unfortunately, there was no rupees 500 note but few note of rupees 1000 only. 
So I picked one and gave it to him. He grabbed it and gave to his colleague and asked him to bring the change of 500. I start waiting for a change. I waited, 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 but change didn't come. Finally, as I was to get myself rid of that situation, I said to that traffic warden, you can, you can keep that 500 and distribute among your colleagues. Sir, how can I refuse? You are offering me such a love and affection. I left the scene. Hello, Toastmaster. Once upon a time, a traffic warden was given a target to cut 100 chalans during, during his duty hours. He was able to cut only 98. Two were still left and his duty hours were running short. Soon he spotted a couple riding on a bike. He stopped and asked for license. The man showed the license. Who is sitting behind you? She is my wife. And the man was also wearing the helmet. Why she is not wearing the helmet? He handed him the challenge. No, he is on 99. Just one left. And last minute of his duty hour. And he spotted a man walking across the road with wearing a cap that looked like helmet. He handed him over the chalan. What is it for? You are wearing the helmet and even not driving the bicycle. The bike. 